We have arrived in DC. Quinn's over there putting some shoes on. Thought I'd give a quick little room tour of the hotel room. We've got a bathroom on the right. We've already unpacked, so it's messy, but. Got a bed. Got a Quinn. Got a desk. Got a cute little seating area. And our view is actually into the hotel lobby, which is kind of cool. So I think we're gonna head out and get some lunch now, some brunch perhaps. Here's an outfit of the day. Just a black tank top, some jean shorts, sneakers, cute little bag. We're gonna go to Hen Quarter for lunch. Um, we've never been, but it has really good reviews on Yelp, so we're willing to give it a try, right? Yeah. Hi, Yuki. Thank you. We have this date lunch. I forgot to vlog it because we were hungry, but we got chicken and biscuits. Right. Yeah, we're still going straight. Yeah. So now we are walking to a tour of the Capitol building. We have like 20 minutes to get there, so we're walking kind of fast, but it's hot, but gorgeous day outside. Nice and blue skies. So when you get to the Capitol building, you're gonna wanna go around the back side and down the stairs, and you'll see the entrance for the US Capitol Visitor Center. What you do here is you can either pick up a pre-reserved ticket for your tour, or you can wait in line and see if there's any availability for that day. We had pre-reserved three different tours for the trip because we knew that we would like to do it more than once. So as you can see, the visitor center is really beautiful and it actually is on the ground floor of the Capitol building. Don't mind Quinn being a goofball. So once you get your tickets, you'll line up and wait for the next introduction video to start, which happens in a nice theater and you just get a little bit of background on our country. Not everyone that tours the Capitol is an American, so it's nice that they give a little introduction before the tour officially begins. This room that we're walking into here is called the Crypt, and it's actually the room that's directly beneath the rotunda of the Capitol building, so the big white dome that you see from the outside. All of the columns here are actually what's holding up all the weight of that dome, and this was built, our tour guide told us, to house the body of George Washington, but since it wasn't built until after he died, the family did not want to move him from Mount Vernon, so there is actually no bodies in this crypt. You'll see here that we're walking up a beautiful staircase, and it's actually the staircase that leads us one floor up from the crypt into the rotunda. The rotunda is absolutely beautiful, and it's filled with tons of artwork that characterizes our nation's history. To give you an idea of how big it is, our tour guide told us that this mural at the very top of the dome is the size of a basketball court in the NBA. The rotunda of the Capitol building is also where a lot of state funerals are held, so if a dignitary or a president or a senator or anything like that passes away, they lay in state on that white dot in the middle of the room here that you might have been able to see on the floor a minute ago, and people can come up and line up to pay their respects. The room we're in right now actually used to be the House of Representatives chamber until the country's population got too large and the number of representatives needed outgrew the space. So now they use it on the Capitol tours as a place to house some of the statues from different states so that people coming to visit can see where their state statue is. Hey everybody. Hi people. <laughs> we are heading out for dinner. We're gonna go to Georgetown, get some burgers and milkshakes. I just wanted to show you how beautiful our street was that our hotel is on. Quinn especially wants me to show everyone this building here. This is so I can see it again when I watch it. This is so he can see it again.
your favorite part about today? <laughs> but really, what was it? Inside the Capitol building, the painting was... In the rotunda? Yeah. I think the tour was my favorite part too. What was your favorite part? I just said, I think I the Capitol the tour. tour um, maybe when she told us that the size of the painting at the top was bigger than an NBA court. Okay. <laughs> it's chunky bacon. It's like pork belly. Oh. That's what it looks like in New walking home from dinner and we're walking past the White House and right past it is the Washington Monument. So the next day we started our day at the National Archives. You're actually not allowed to take photos or video inside so this is the only footage I have but we were just waiting in line for it to open. After the National Archives, we went to Ford's Theater where we took a tour led by a park ranger through the museum and the actual theater where Lincoln was shot. John Wilkes Booth came in a door in the back of the booth and shot him at a very comedic moment of the play, so no one really knew what happened. Across the street, there's the house where Lincoln died. It's the Peterson house. And you're allowed to tour the inside of it and see the bedroom where Lincoln was brought after he was shot and actually lived out his final moments. So you pay one flat rate for your pizza crust and then anything you want on it is included. So whether you get one or 20 toppings, it costs the same amount. 
So the pizza that I got this day had garlic pesto sauce with a little bit of marinara and then two types of mozzarella cheese, shredded and the Ovalini fresh mozzarella. I also got pepperoni, sausage, chicken, and bacon. After they do all the toppings, they put it in the oven and then a few minutes later, it's ready for you to eat. One pizza is super filling and probably a little bit too much food for just one person, but we were walking all day, so we were definitely hungry enough. Hey everybody, we are at the Washington Monument. It's right behind me here. Good morning everybody. Hi people. It is day three in DC. We are walking on Pennsylvania Avenue on our way to the Capitol. It's actually really pretty. It is really pretty. Capitol building on the street side, you'll see the Library of Congress, and it's a building that some parts are open to the public for a self-guided tour, and it's really beautiful and definitely worth a visit. You might recognize this room from popular movies like National Treasure. This part of the library is actually closed off by glass. It's a silent library room, and you have to get government permission in order to study in there. So I've never actually been down on the library floor or over to any of the books or anything. This is just as far as you can go. We are at a Capitol Fourth dress rehearsal. It's July 3rd. 10 seconds. We're on the Capitol lawn. Half the building is behind us. And it's 10 seconds from showtime. Live from the United States Capitol, it's the 37th anniversary of A Capitol Fort. Please welcome an Emmy nominated star, our Independence Day Master of Ceremonies, John Stamos. Who said you put me down? I've been out doing it. 